A nine-letter word. The clue is people always talk behind his back. Shocker! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble, the brand-new television version of the game you all know so well. Uh, backstage, I have a lady who's on a cross-country trip, and she just stopped by to play a little bit of Scrabble with us. Right now, she's, uh, she's up to about $3,000, 2900 to be exact, in one win. And Margie Young-Taylor, let's invite her out. Margie? <laughs> How are you doing, honey? Hi, it's awesome fun. You're having a good trip so far, aren't I you? I certainly am. Yeah, listen, now in a few moments you're going to be playing against uh, the winner of this next match. And so we just want you to stand by backstage and uh, we'll meet our first two players and be right with you, okay? Okay. Good luck, hon. Thank you. All righty. Uh, right now we're going to meet our players for that match. Jay Stewart, if you will. She's finally on her own and he's an Air Force brat from Los Angeles, California, Lori Lampert. And from Ventura, California, Harvey Reese. Lori, <laughs> it's nice to have you both with it. Lori, what, what do you mean you're finally on your own? Well, after living in my family's house forever, I finally got my own apartment, and I'm having a great oh, time. nice. How old are you, Lori? Can 20. I ask? You're 20 and finally breaking those bonds at home. Yeah. Huh? Is it exciting to have your own apartment? It's a lot of fun. You don't have to report to anybody. Yeah. Do you have any roommates, anything like yeah. that? Yeah. One roommate. She's oh. really nice. Yeah, well, it's that, a makes, her. that makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a her. She's as good. I'm glad to know that. <laughs> good luck in our game today. Hi, Harvey. Hi. Somebody told me before I went on, you were born in Tripoli or... Something? North Africa, right. North Africa. Oh, I see. The Air Force, your father. Right. How long, how long ago was this now? Was he stationed over this there? This would have been 29 years ago. 29 years. They caravaned us out to Southern California, and Why? I've been here ever since. Well, it's nice to have you on the show, Thank Harvey. Thank you. Laurie, good luck to both of you. Uh, I tell you what, who won the uh, toss backstage? Lucky me. You did, Harvey? All right, let's play Scrabble and take a look at our board here. We're going to play until somebody gets three words right, and that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint and a chance at more than $40,000 in cash. All right, take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. Now, Harvey, building on the letter G, seven letters in this word. The clue is... It sometimes goes its own way. Any idea what that might be? Sometimes goes its own way. No idea right now, Chuck. <clears throat> All right, the rest of the letters in that word are scrambled and controlled by a number of tiles between you. Uh, pick two of them and we'll get underway. Let's go with lucky number seven. All right, try a seven, see what it says. And you. we'll go with number four. And a G. Which one do you want to try? Let's go for the G. Try the G, see if it works. It sometimes goes its own way. Yes, the two G's up there now. Any idea? <coughs> no? Okay, let's try Let's the U. U, see if it works. Each game is worth $500. There's a U. Any idea? Yes, I do. Tell me. Luggage. That's exactly right. Oh. Very quick, Harvey. Whoa. Whew. That's very, very quick. I tell you what, we're going to come back and resume this. It's now one to zip. We'll be back and see if we can't catch up. Harvey, Harvey got a U and a G and he was gone. Ugh, that's all you got out of that thing and, and you had it already, so it's one to zip. Lori, we're gonna start with you, let's go to the board. We're building on the letter G in luggage. Seven letters in this word. The clue is, she'll crawl all over you. <laughs> well, that's kinda cute. She'll crawl all over you. Any idea? None. Take a couple of tiles, let's okay, go. Okay, how about <laughs> seven? Got a seven. And three. And a three. You have an I and you have an L. Which do you want to try? Um, how about the I? Try the I. See if it works. Ooh, that's one of those stoppers. There are three stoppers in those tiles between you. You just hit one of them. Harvey, I'm going to go to you. Do you have any idea what this is? She'll crawl. She'll crawl all over you. No idea. Okay, take a tile. Bring yourself up to speed. Let's go with four again. Watch those stoppers. A and an L. Uh, take the L. Try the L. See if it works. First position, that sometimes can help. She'll crawl all over you. All, all over you. No, try the A. First two letters, she'll crawl all over you. She'll crawl all over you. Uh, nope, nope. Take two more tiles, put them in the slot. Let's see what we Let's got to work with. Let's try number nine. Number nine and is a B. And number eight, my birthday. Eight is a Y. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take the Y. Try the Y. And let's go ahead and take the B. Take the 
to be. She'll yeah. crawl all over you as the flu. And she sure will. Ladybug. That's right. Woo. That's right. Good for you, Harvey. Woo. Lori, did you, did you have any idea what it was? Yeah. Did you know it when he did? Mm -hmm. That should be encouraging. I'm not getting the board, though. No, I know. <laughs> You're right. you got to get to turn. It's very <laughs> important. It's your turn, Lori. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops, here we go. Okay, building on the letter B in Ladybug, eight letters in this word. The clue is, it gets stuck in the sand. <laughs> Any idea what this is? Uh-uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> funny, I don't either, and I have it in front of me. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's take a couple of tiles and get started. Okay, how about the ten? The ten. And the one. Got an E, and you have an A. Which do you want to try? How about the A? Try the A. It gets stuck in right. the sand. Nope. Um, e. Can I guess? Can you? Do you know it? Is it umbrella? Yes. Whoa. Wait a minute. I, you know I gotta tell you, they they show me these things before I go on the air, and and I get to look, read the clues and things just in case I get you know screwed up on something. And I looked at this and I said it gets stuck in the sand. That is the worst clue I ever heard. And you just nailed that. Maybe I need the bad clues. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to give you another bad one. So much for that. Okay. Well, let's go to the board. We're building on the letter L in umbrella. I guess we're going to stay with you, Laurie, since you're one behind. Thanks. Six letters in this word. The clue is a place for flowers. Any idea? Mm -mm. No, no idea. Take a couple of tiles. Okay. Here we go. How about the, what is this? The six. Okay. And the two. A place for flowers, an S, and you have an L. Um, the S. Try the S. Goes in the last place. Any idea, a place for flowers? No. Okay, that leaves us with the L. We'll have to try that. Oh, first, last. A place for flowers. No clue. No, two more tiles. Try to stay away from those stoppers. Here we go. <laughs> okay, how about the five? And the four. Five is a T and the four is a A. Which do you want to try? Um, the A. Try the A. A place for flowers. Okay. Any idea? I know I should know it, but I don't. Well, maybe not. <laughs> try the T, see if it works. Ooh, first stopper. Oh. Harvey, you can win it with this. You can win the game in $500. A place for flowers. Any idea? I have no idea. Take a couple of tiles, put them in the slot. Okay, lucky seven. Lucky seven. And my birthday There's again. your eight, eight again, your birthday eight. A P and an I. Which would you like to try? The P. Try the P. What is it? Lapel. That's right, it's lapel. Lapel's got it. That means you're the winner. I'm going to tell you what that means to you. Well, Lori, darling, that was kind of a short life stay, wasn't it? We had a good time. Good luck time. in your new apartment and whatever oh, you do, okay? Okay. okay. Right. Harvey, come on down and join me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. you both were very, very good players and got everything really quickly. So this ought to be an interesting matchup with Margie backstage. Uh, you won the game. That's worth uh, $500. That's yours to keep. Great. Even more important. You gotta, you're gonna go on to play our Scrabble Sprint with our Scrabble Sprint champion. That's gonna be for $1,500. And of course, if you win it, that'll put you in, uh, in a position to win maybe that $20,000. Right. We're gonna come right back and see if we can do that in just a minute. Stay with us. Hey now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. All right, we're about to run into our Scrabble Sprint section, make somebody a whole lot of money. Let's bring back Margie Young-Taylor. Margie, come on. He does Scrabble Sprint champion. Nice to see you, sweetie pie. Thank you. Margie, as I said before, came out here on vacation. She's gotten a total of $2,900 so far, and that's not too bad. No, it's pretty no. good. She's got one win behind her. All she's got to do is get four more, and she's going to be up for $20,000, really $20,000 plus. You win this uh, uh, 10 times in a row, we give you $40,000. Right now, I want to go with uh, Harvey here and tell you you won $500. I'm going to give you that. Uh, we're going to be playing this the stake is $1,500. You all got that straight? Yes. All right. Each of you will play three words. The best time obviously wins. And I have two packets here, a pink one and a blue one. The challenger always gets to choose first. Which one do you like? I'll try the blue. You really? It's kind of a nice color. Oh, okay. Then we give the pink to you. Here we go. I want to remind you one thing. Hit the plunger first. Don't give me your answer first because the plunger stops the clock. Your answer doesn't, okay? okay. There are also no stoppers in this. So you can go right on down to almost the end. We don't okay. give you the last word. All right. The last letter, but I'll tell you about that. Here we go. 
five letters in the first word. The clue is he puts you in your place. The clock will start when we pop in the first two letters. You ready? Ready. Go. He puts you in your place. H. E. Tell me. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> this may be... This may not be your average run here. I don't know. Well, that's awfully good. 3.2 seconds, Harvey. Second word. Six letters in this word. The clue is they're too tight. Ready? Go. S. They're too tight. R. S. They're too tight. E. I. They're too tight. My yes, folks. Yes. Okay. A little bell that you hear, by the way, is a five-second warning, letting you know that you must answer in five seconds because we do not give you the last letter. You got in just under the bell. Let's go to your third word, 13.9 seconds. Eight letters in your third word. The clue is it can fold. Ready? Go. N. It can S. fold. I. S. It can fold. E. B. It can fold. Tell me. Business. That's right. Business 23.3. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, Margie, you got your work cut out for you. That I may sure be one of, I think that that may be one of the lowest times. Am I right? I believe it is. Yeah, everybody's nodding. I think that's one of our lowest times. Okay, you're on the pink. Here we go. Good luck. This Thank time, you. by the way, we're going to count down. We'll go backwards from 23 seconds, 23.3, to zero. You must get all three of these words before you hit zero. Ready? Ready. Let's go to the board. Five letters in the first word. Boys can't wait to do this. Ready? Ready. Go. A. Boys can't S wait to do this. H. Tell me. J. That's right. Good time. Woo! Number two. Six letters in this word. A hot property. Ready? Ready. Go. H. Hot property. A. R. A hot S property. A. A hot property. Tell me. Sahara. Sahara is right. <laughs> well, you both are going very <laughs> fast today. Answer this in 10.7 seconds or less, and you'll win. Eight letters in this last word. They twist and turn. They twist and turn. Ready? Ready. Go. E, R, T. They twist P, and turn. L, E, Z. Turn. Whoa. <laughs> Tell me. Pretzel. That's right. You won it with six tenths of a second, Martin. Good night. I got to tell you something. <laughs> I never thought that any... I didn't think Jack Archer, who almost walked out here with $34,000, could have done that. I didn't think Margie could do it. That was a great time. She was very tough. Our congratulations. You. you got your $500, and great, thanks so much great, for being great. on the show. It's fun. Right now, I got a... It's a great $1,500 that time. We add that to your total. $2,900, or your uh, other earnings, I should say. Your total is now $4,400. That's great. That's your second win, three more wins. We'll give you $20,000 okay. on top of that. Now, if you win that $20,000 and you can still stay around, win it five more times, we'll give you $40,000, okay? Fine. We're going to take up. That's around. right. I bet it is. We're going to try and find a new opponent for her. We're going to come right back and do that right after this one. All right, we're back. We're going to be our next two players. Jay Stewart. She was an outstanding woman. He's a weightlifter from Santa Monica, California, Kathy Kilburn. And originally from Pontiac, Michigan, Chris Smith. All right. <laughs> Kathy, uh, tell me, now, on, on my card here, it says you were nominated for Outstanding Woman of America. Yes, in 1983. 1983. Yeah, what did you have to do to do that? I worked hard, and I was enthusiastic, and... Um, I didn't make it, but I was nominated. It Who was, nominated you? Uh, Bill Amata from the Los Angeles Collegiate Council, which really? I was a member of. Oh, that's very, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome to our game, and good luck today, Kathy. Thank you. Yeah, Chris, you're from you're originally from Pontiac, Michigan. Is yes, that right? the Silver Dome City. The Silver Dome City. Oh yeah. yeah. You said today. You said before we went on the air. You said my mom's going to see me today. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's She's nice. See me. Yeah. You uh, you love Venice Beach. I know Venice Beach very well because I kind of live close by it. 
You're a weightlifter down there? You no, were... I just go down there and watch the women in the, the wild sight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bill, we'll talk to you later. That's good. All right. What's... <laughs> Welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks, Thanks, yeah. Which one of you all uh, won the toss? I did. You won, Chris? Yes. Okay, we're going to start with you. Let's play Scrabble. Ready? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> we're building on the letter A. We have nine letters in this first word. The clue is, this person hates bookkeeping. Any idea? Uh, no, I don't. I okay, think I'll take two of those take tiles, two. put them in the slot, and let's see where we are. Lucky number seven. Try number seven. Yes. And number ten. Number ten. Got an N. Ten is an R. Which do you want to try? Um, let's go with the R. Try the R. This person hates bookkeepers. Uh, no idea. No okay. idea. Try the N. Okay. Last position. This person hates bookkeepers. No. Still no. no idea. Take two more tiles. Okay. Number four. Just as before. And number nine. There are three stoppers. You have to watch for those. It's an I and a G. Which do you want to try? Let's go with the I. Try the I. This person hates bookkeepers. Any idea? No, I think we'll have to go with the G. All right, try the G. See if it works. First stopper of this word. Bad luck for you, Kathy. This person hates bookkeepers. You know what it is? I think so. You want to try? Yeah. Tell me. Librarian? That's exactly Woo! right. Good for you. Yeah. Very, very good. That's one right now. I, I, again, I want to remi remind you that the first player who gets three words right wins the game. Okay? Chris, back to you. We're going to start with you this time. Building on the letter N in librarian, there are seven letters in this word. The clue is it picks things up. It picks things up. Want to take a stab at it? Uh, number seven. Number one seven. more time. And number nine. Seven and number nine. Have an I and you have a T. Which do you want to try? Uh, let's go with the I. Try the I first. <laughs> lucky seven wasn't that lucky. The first stopper of the game, Kathy, it picks things up. I have no idea. Take one tile, bring yourself up to speed. Number yeah. eight. You have a T to work with, and the eight is a A. I'll take the A. Try the A. <laughs> first position in the word. It picks things up. I don't know. Okay, try the T. Yes. It picks things up. Two more tiles. Number six. Number six. And number one. You have an N and you have Whoops. number one. <laughs> you gotta get number, stuff number one down in there. Oh. oh, you have an N and an N. Which would you like to try? Oh, such a hard decision. N. <laughs> Might as well try the N. Yes, there are two N's up there already. It picks things up. Can I guess? You can guess if you want. Antenna? Yes, that's exactly right. Good for you. Two to zip. Chris? Yeah, I gotta get on my road. You gotta remember, Chris. <laughs> I gotta get on my bike. Your mother is, is watching. And <laughs> so is mine. Okay. We're gonna go with you this time, Chris. Okay. We're uh, gonna build on the letter T in antenna. Um, eight letters in this word. Now, wait a minute. You know, you might know this. Oh, okay. Eight well, let's go for the it. The clue is, listen to this clue. You're going to love this one. Okay. Superman has an extra one. Does that help you? Give me that Lee Majors look. <laughs> he says no. Okay, take a couple of tiles. Yeah, number one. <laughs> number one. And number seven again. A one more D, time, Chuck. And you have an H. Which do you want to try? Uh, let's go with the H. Try the H. Oh, you're getting into Stopper City there, Chris. I don't know. That's not Just very lucky for you. Break. Kathy, Superman has an extra one. Any idea? No. Okay. Nothing. Take another tile. Bring yourself up to speed. Number six. D and an N. I'll take the N, please. Try the N. See if it works. N. Falls in there. Superman has an extra one. I don't know. I have no idea. Now that leaves the D. Second letter of the word, Superman has an extra one. No. Gosh, no. I don't know. Take two more tiles. I'll take a five. Five and And number I. four. Number four is a E. Which one do you want to try? I'll take the E. Try the E. <laughs> Superman has an extra one. Gosh, I don't know. Chris. Chris right now is going to cardiac arrest. He's finally gotten one. He, he knows this, he thinks. What are you going to do, Kathy? Try the eye? Yeah. You might as well. <laughs> Take the eye. Here comes the eye. 
Superman has an extra one. I have a, I have the answer. <laughs> Identity. Well, your, what? Identity. Yes, that's right. That's three. That's three. I'm going to tell you what that means. Chris. Yes. You Mom's had it, right? Mad. Mom's going to be mad. Mom's not going to be happy about this. Chris, we have some nice parting gifts for you. I don't know what they are. What are our parting gifts? Does anybody know? Yeah, tell us. They're nice. He said that. What'd you say, Chris? I said, tell us. Tell us. Well, we would. We have some nice parting gifts, but we don't know what they are right now. But you're going to love them. Thanks for being on the show. Kathy, Thank come you, on Chuck. down. Just stay right there, Chris. I like it. I like it. All right. Nominated for Outstanding Woman of America for 1983. Here she is, folks. 1984, yeah. 1984. Kathy Kilburn by George. You won the game worth $500. That's yours to keep even more important. You're now about to play our Scrabble Sprint for three times that amount. And, of course, a chance to put yourself in line for that $20,000. Now, with all that out of the way, we're going to go play Scrabble Sprint. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> we're going to play Scrabble Sprint tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Some members of our senior audience are some of the final contestants who receive Deep Shine Pledge. Makes a beautiful difference on all your wood furniture. Pretty with the more beautiful shine, Deep Shine Pledge and wood scent. And Bed Sack, new in bed covering, luxury upholstery for old mattresses or box springs, and protection for new, furnished by Bed Sack. Plus Conair Shampoo and Conditioner. When the heat's on your hair, you need Conair Thermal Protection Shampoo and Conditioner with PSA. And now an ordinary shower can become a luxurious body care treatment for softer, lovelier skin with a moisture machine by LeMay. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe, furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Jay Stewart speaking. Scrabble is a Rex Grundy production.